With Bob Pruitt, and this is Dream. <laughs> what a great horse! Yeah, what a great, what a great horse! I'm just arrived in Dallas, Fort Worth, and I'm here for a special reason. But gosh, what a treat! I haven't been around the horses for a while. When I used to run a horse circuit with a friend of mine who is a trainer, but this is looking and the carrot. Yep, he knows the carrots there. He is absolutely wonderful. He's getting a little bath hose down with the heat and before he's going in, he's been enjoying a lot out there in the pasture. Beautiful. Hi, Ann. I'm just here with Sugar, my little she, Morgan. She is and just she's beautiful too. And thank you so oh, much. Oh gosh, she's yeah. So much fun. They're just awesome. Yep, and there's Dream over in there. And, in his special, oh, we got Elvis down there. Elvis in the building. <laughs> he just looked at me. That is just wonderful. So nice. Yeah. We love him. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> oh, little spirit. How old is? Sugar is fifteen. Fifteen? She should live to be about thirty. Thirty-five. Okay. Goodness. Well, she got good spunk in her too. Oh. Oh, look at her. Yeah, <laughs> you silly girl. <laughs> Okay, everybody. These are these are my friends from Texas. Used to be in Florida, Yay! and uh, Bob Pruitt and Ann. They're uh, Pruitt Carpet Care, but they've decided to retire after 43 years. Yeah, and uh, they they called me, and Bob was looking, wondering if anybody was looking for a cigarized uh, butler. I was in Vegas. Everyone asked me, "Do you gamble or spend money?" No, I do, but I spend money when I'm in Vegas, usually buying something. So I bought the van, and I We're thank you guys. That it's going to Oh it's been gosh. A really, really good man for us. Well, I can't thank you guys enough. And <laughs> so I'm uh, going to drive this thing home. <laughs> it is so awesome. And um, just can't tell you. Plus, they're also, you know, this channel is about trying to help other cleaners too. So they're also helping out with a new cleaner who has moved from Florida up to the South Dakota, Iowa area. Ran into a bit of, uh, you know, difficulties right now with the transition. Sure. Bob says, I uh, think a portable would help him out. And uh, so we've got a really great deal for this person that I'm going to go deliver the portable. I'm going to make a straight line up versus a straight across country. Mark is constantly doing good. Wow, well, you guys. Helps out everybody. I learned from them also. <laughs> so it's, it's seriously, they've been absolutely wonderful friends and a blessing to us yeah, too. Buddy. So we appreciate yeah. you so much. So I'm going to start driving this van back north. I have no clue how this video is all going to turn out, <laughs> but we're just, I, Gosh, I had wonderful meal, Mexican meal, and uh, cake, and I keep eating. <laughs> and she keeps putting stuff in the van for me to eat. Uh, so, again, the eyes. We want to make certain he's not hungry on the way Oh, home. I'm not going to starve. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, guys, and uh, I sure do appreciate it. We'll make you really proud. Thank you, Mark. We love Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, well, Thank you guys. You, buddy. City. That way I can get through the bad traffic this morning, get through it, and not have to deal with that. But I got about a nine, ten hour drive today and just thought of something too. So Bob and don't get an invoice or bill for me if I hit some tolls on the way. I forgot. They gave me a temporary tag. And the funny part of it is, is 
it's tagged for Florida. And this van originally was in Florida. So I'm going from the Lone Star State back to Florida. So there's the Florida tag we're gonna use. And right now my little single wide with indoor plumbing is in danger up there as a big storm's coming through. Me and I and Owen, whatever the name of it is. But this is all I got to work with today. Little Leatherman scissors, I carry a lot. So I gotta get that out of there, and get that one installed. Well, I'm leaving the old plate on the back just in case. I'm not sure how much I trust that. It's kind of a laminated type paper, but I just don't know how much I trust it. <laughs> Trusty little Leatherman scissors every time. Front plates. Bolts for the front. Remember they're there, Mark. Kansas. Dorothy, we're not Kansas. Yeah, we are. Stop, stretch the legs. First fuel stop. Oh gosh, I don't even know how many miles I've gone. Quite a few. I was down to like 1.827 some gallons remaining in the tank. <laughs> I was like, hope the gas gauge is accurate because it was just bouncing on the E. Just slept up and down. <sighs> Things are going well. I still got quite a few hours left to go and but you should see what I got in the back here for this carpet cleaner. Bob and Ann set, set this guy up pretty good too. They had, he just still has to pay for it. He has to reimburse me. <laughs> but we got some good stuff back here to help him get started. So, cheers. Let's hit it. difficulty because she have been sitting too long so it's hard to get primed so we figured out how to get the bottom opened up and get her going she got some she's doing her now yeah <laughs> wonderful richard bowen yes Did I pronounce that, that correctly that is correct because you know i always see his name online and we've met in person in 2016 2016 in, in nashville. nashville yeah had to say it at the same time. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we were thinking. Anyway, uh, he moved up to just south of uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, in a little town of Inwood, Iowa. So made, it's on the other border. Made yeah. a big mistake with my equipment. So he came here. He actually took another job with another place, and then that job didn't turn out very well. No, so no, no. he's got a different job, which is going really quite well, I would say, but he also needed some income. It's the in your blood. Once you're a carpet cleaner, you cannot get it out of your you blood. Can. So uh, I would just happen to, I went down and I picked up that butler in Texas. I'm on my way back, and uh, I happened to pick up something from Bob and Ann Pruitt that thankfully we got working. It had been yes. sitting probably three years. <laughs> a little it, worried. We were a little worried. It took us a while to prime it. We were like, oh, not again. So um, anyway, I'm going to show you what we got here and we brought to him just briefly. So we've got ourselves a Ninja Warrior <laughs> <laughs> and a tennis CRB. That's just fantastic that uh, Bob had sitting for a long time and he decided that of course, he's retired now, so he didn't need it, but... Um, he, he made the right decision. He retired from the business, <laughs> yeah. where I actually just made the wrong decision. You watch. He'll be back, too, on our luck. But, uh, so, I'm here with Richard, and that was... We got a really nice unit at a really good price, and it was hard to turn down, and I just... I had to call him as soon as I saw it, because um, we were looking. We, I found a couple others, but they were cross-country and probably doubled the price. Oh, almost tripled the price. Not tripled they? the price, and you yeah. added shipping, yeah. So uh, we just went with this and uh, we got it working tonight. It's kind of exciting because I hopefully he'll get back in and enjoy. I am. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm telling anybody out there, first of all, A, yeah. if you have a butler, do not make the mistake and sell it. No matter what's <laughs> wrong with it, just deal with it. Yeah. Two, think over everything you do before you ever decide to shut down because mm. once you do, 
you're going to find it extremely hard to come back. Yeah. And unless like, like with some, having a good friend like Mark and coming through like this, uh, this is rare that, you know, this happens and it was luck. I, I'm very blessed to have it. Yeah. I think there was a little fate involved in some of this, but yeah. Um, I'm just telling all of you, like seriously, really hold on to what you have before you do anything and yep. sometimes shelve it for a minute and then think about it because you probably a month later you'll, you'll be back in the driver's seat <laughs> we're back cleaning up you're not gonna believe this honestly we just got this running i gotta take off yet tonight too i don't even know what time it is i don't care uh, it's like eight o'clock oh it's not bad but uh he's honestly gonna clean carpets in his house I am. he's got it going that is, see, told you, you got the bug. You just cannot not clean carpets. I'm so. going to knock it out. Well, Richard, I really do wish you the best, and I hope this is your jumping start again. It you, will. Yeah. I'll be back in a bottler. You'll be back. It. Yeah. I'll find my way, but this is a great jump start. Mm -hmm. uh, it reminds me of I started uh, 13 years ago, so with the portable, here we <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah, I know, and we're right little, back to where we're A little older now, but <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, get back in shape. Well, it's going to be great, and I really do hope it just really helps you and your family out. It's a great little town. So if you're seeing this also inward, um, Richard Bowen, and I don't know what he's going to call his company here, what it is. Trinity uh, Carpet Pros. Trinity Carpet Pros. It's already done. There it is. It's so, actually already uh, LLC in South Dakota. I wasted no time. He got, See? <laughs> you had the bug serious, dude. No, I wasted no time. <laughs> There's no medicine for it, I just got to tell you. So, uh, seriously, I'm very excited to see how this goes. And uh, I've got some other stuff, I think, at home, too. I'm going to send them. My wife says, get out of here. So, oh, and, uh, yeah. Also, too, who's this back here? <laughs> if you guys uh, ever have a chance, look up ChristUp.com. ChristUpClothing.com. Some cool things. So... Yeah, they they were from Florida. They moved from Florida up here, and right now our little uh, my little Sager South is in dire jeopardy. I could possibly lose the place down there. So keep our fingers crossed. Yes. Few prayers, and keep prayers. I'll, I'll know in about three days. It's either going to be there, or it's going to be gone. Sad. I have it everything but in flood insurance on it. It's been 102 years since we had anything in a hurricane. But you don't have a butler there. No, I don't. <laughs> I, I'm okay in that. I already told my wife, I know what I'm going to do if I have to. I really don't have to. I want to have to. But uh, so, yeah. Well, Richard. Best, Thanks, Mark. Best Thanks wishes, dude. I appreciate yeah, it. Man. it so, will, uh, we'll work it out. Yep. And I'm, I'll stay in touch and give you our Oh, I know you will. Yeah, yeah. Definitely will. Okay. If I figure out what it is that we need for an injection to get this bug out of us, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks Thank again. You. Well, I'm going to hit the road. Dusty trail. Make it wet. Absolutely. <laughs> See ya. We're out, running late. Story of my day. Slow, slow. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh, come on. <laughs> 10 minutes later. Well, I'm finishing up my video here as I hit the road. I'm trying to get this all in and uh, then start uploading it while I'm on the road. I have about eight hours of driving today outside Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Wow, I haven't had enough coffee because I can't tell. Oh, that's a pretty cool little motorhome RV with graphics. But anyway, finishing this up and start uploading it. I got to get going. Uh, last night, I didn't do any cleaning really with, uh, with uh, Richard, but he was cleaning as soon as I left, send me video, so it's pretty cool. Hey Mark, just want to let you know I'm not wasting any time. You can see me cleaning right here. This thing is a, it's like a uh, buck mount portable. LOL, it cleans it pretty well. Thought I'd let you see this little video. So I got to get busted on the road. Hopefully get this video up for tonight and you'll see it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy this video. I hope I make a video out of this. I. <laughs> people uploading off my phone that video and out the middle of corn field and soybean fields not enough wind today for the windmills to be going it's just crazy
Yeah, I know. Put the phone down, Mark. I know. I know. <laughs> home. Now I'm getting a ride to go to the airport. <laughs> Just get my truck. Is this my Uber? <laughs> oh dang, I forgot my keys. Well, thanks for being with us on this road trip ride. It was kind of weird not having the Code Red Express on, on a road trip tour, but it's great to have our new little butler back with us. And uh, we sure appreciate Bob and Ann and what they've also done to help in the industry. So keep coming back. We're going to have a series going on as, as we get this into our fleet. And uh, we do some tune-ups and, and, and work on it. So uh, we're going to just do things to it that are just really general, good, sagarized maintenance. Bob and Ann, we thank you for taking such good care of it. And yeah, there's going to be some changes. We're going to do some rebuild on some stuff. We're going to add a little more spice to it and have a great time using it too in the field. So thanks again. Check out the channel. Thumbs up, like, comment. Stop in again. Look forward to having you see the rest of what's happening with that new unit. If you got some names for it, put them down in the comments. We have some thoughts what we're going to name it, but maybe you've got something that'll work great for us too. Take care now.